Well, guys, basketball practice underway. You're almost through two weeks of practice. How are things going? I'll start with you, Caden. How, how would you describe how things are going this year? It's going pretty good. We're working hard in practice, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> what has Coach Stewart been focusing on here, Chase? Uh, conditioning. I'd say he's really getting us up and down the court a lot, uh, trying to get our freshmen in the mix of what we do, and just really getting us to work together. So. Yeah. Well, Scott, talk a little bit about what are going to be some keys for you guys to have a successful season this year, you think? I'd say we need to talk a little bit more and uh, know how to work together on defense. Okay. Is that something that Coach is harping on as well? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Us oh. as a team want to get a little bit better at that too. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think, you know, I'll go back to you, Kate, about the competition in, in two-way this year? What, what are you looking at when you look out around the state? I think a lot of people lost a lot of of their good seniors and we're feeling that too and so it'll be interesting i don't know yeah in terms of you know competition in this two-way west how do you describe it uh last year was pretty competitive us four teams in the or two-way west yeah so well two-way southwest oh yeah, yeah. so yeah. a lot of teams we were pretty competitive last year so it went anyway but i think Really, I think this year will be pretty dang close again. Yeah. But I think we can come out on top. Yeah, obviously you guys have been kind of bouncing back and forth, uh, you know, from 3A and 2A. Yeah. You're still in 2A this year. Is, is that a little weird when you don't play a lot of teams around you yeah. in, in terms of conference games? Yeah, yeah I, I, I like it. I mean, you, you see a lot. Well, once we went down 2A, we saw a lot new, more new teams like St. Stephen's, Wyoming Union. That was, last year was my first time playing either of those teams. So. It was fun, and then yeah, we just compete the same way. So. Yeah. How does Coach Stewart want you to play, Skyler? In terms of what, what type of style? <laughs> oh, he just wants us to play hard. He wants us to get out there, always, always be ready for anything, and always just be just there and ready to fight as hard as we can. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you guys made the state tournament last year. Yeah. yeah. And how do how do you? Keep moving up the ladder, do you think? What, what are some what are some keys for you guys to kind of move up the 2A ladder a little bit? Just practice hard. I think we need to act like we've been there before because last year we kind of showed up and we're flat-footed. You know, we, okay. we didn't really come and play last year, it seemed like, but I think when we make it there this year, we'll be able to make something happen, play like we usually do. You guys are all three seniors. Do you feel like you have a different role this year? Because, you know, gone is Jake Campman, kind of an automatic double-double guy. I mean, is that a tough role to fill for this team, Caden? Uh, yeah, we kind of lost a lot of, they brought different dynamics. We had Wyatt, who was the point guard, and if he was out of the game, it kind of all went rough. But, <laughs> so someone's got to step up and fill that, and then had Jake, who was our scorer, and now we're going to lose that, too. It's too, we have to play more as a team, I think, a lot this year. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, let's have a little bit of fun. Um, where's your favorite place to play around the state besides here at home? Probably Mountain View. I love Mountain View's gym. They got the dome gym, so okay. it's kind of a small gym, but it gets loud. Yeah, I like the noise in that gym. Yes, yeah. it, it makes everything more exciting. Okay, where's the place you dread playing at, or maybe you just have bad games? St. Stevens. Stevens. It's the smallest <laughs> yeah. gym. Those fans are angry. And it's just, I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> Did they get on you last year, Skyler? No, but it was. It was. It was, was, it was you. <laughs> Man, Apparently, he was not the same game you two were. <laughs> um, oh, here's a different one for you guys. Uh, favorite player to play against. And they could have graduated as well. But around the state in 2A, favorite player to play against. Uh, well, I guess it could be it could be another school as well. Probably Ruben Stauffenberg. Or is his name Stauffenberg? Stauffenberg or something. Ruben Stauffenberg at Big yeah, Piney? Yeah. Okay. He's, he challenges me a lot. He gets right. pretty good. Yeah. What about for you, Caden? Um, I don't know. Skyler, you got one in mind? Uh, it was Mo from Cokeville. Just had a fun time with him. Okay. Yeah. Anybody come to mind? No. No. I don't know the players that well. Oh. You're just down in your own world. Yeah. Oh, okay. Out of the court. <laughs> um, favorite part about bus trips? Uh, I don't know. Our bus trips are pretty quiet. I yeah. mean, 
it's like the first hour we talkative, and then after that, it's just everyone sleeps. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. or yeah. listening to music. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm assuming the length is the worst part about oh, it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You guys the got seats some... aren't meant for. They're meant for him, but like, not for us too. They're not, they're not really meant for us. I get it. I rode on a bus one once upon a time, yeah. and, and more recently than you guys might realize. Um, favorite place to eat on the road? Um, probably Arby's. I like Arby's. Okay. We never eat there. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We Regionals. Yeah. Yeah. One time good once, enough. You got a, you got a different place, Kevin? Yeah. Kim? I'll go with Domino's. Okay. Wendy's was pretty good. Yeah. Do you guys, is there something you're sick and tired of eating? Subway. Subway. Oh, wow. Yes. Ouch. Yeah. No, no, and this is not a anything partial or against any food <laughs> entity anywhere. Um, no, we, just, we just abused Subway. <laughs> yeah, 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 you right. did. That's okay. <laughs> um, favorite team to beat? Uh, I like Mountain beating Mountain View. Yeah, yeah. Mountain View. Yeah. Uh, team you hate to lose to? Big Piney. Yeah. 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 Even though it's a good yeah. distance, it's still a rivalry? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't stand big pain. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like losing yeah. to them. All right. Um, how would you describe playing for Coach Stewart? I love it. Yeah. I love it. The coach, because not anything about my old coach, but then Coach Stewart got here and I feel like he opened a lot of doors for our, my playing style, I guess. Okay. So I think I play a lot better under Coach Stewart. Yeah. It seems like everyone's not as pressured. Okay. Yeah. Um, just kind of different vibes, I guess. Yeah. We're able to have fun while still being serious. Gotcha. I, I gotcha. He keeps it loose, but then gets on you when he needs to. Yeah. Okay. He'll get on us. Yeah. yeah. All right. But, yeah. Skyler, for you uh, specifically, what are a couple things you guys need to get done before you play your first games of the season next week? I'd say probably focus on our defense mainly and uh, get our offense down. Yeah. What are some early season goals, Caden, that this team, you know, obviously you might have some longer season goals for the entire year and, and getting better day by day, week by week, but what are some short-term goals to get you off on a, on a good foot? Um, I think just pushing the ball and going really hard, um, both in practice and in games, and then defense too. Coach is really stressing the defense part. Well, guys, thanks for the time. I wish you best of luck this season. Of course. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Well, Matt, here we go with the uh, new basketball season. You guys are about two weeks into practice. How are things going? Yeah, going pretty good. Um, kind of been a, a slow start for us. We're a pretty young team this year. Um, you know, we only have uh, two returning starters back and three others that played a little bit of varsity last year. <laughs> so we're a pretty young team as far as varsity experience and uh, have a lot of freshmen out this year. Um, so. Trying to bring those young kids along and, and get them get them going and get them up to speed. It's been a little bit of a challenge over the first couple of weeks and been trying on on the older kids, but uh, so far it's been it's been pretty good. What has been the focus? What what have you been kind of I guess honing in on here? Uh, a lot of conditioning. Okay. Conditioning's been that's one thing we we. Uh, take pride in is, is being in shape, uh, especially not being very deep this year. We're going to have to be able to spend more minutes on the floor and, and get going that way. So conditioning and defense, um, one that was one of our, our weak spots last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we were playing well at the end of the year, but we were giving up a lot of points, but we were able to score with teams <laughs> and uh, taking a little more pride in the defensive end this year. So. Who kind of fills some roles for you this year? You, you lost your point guard, you lost an automatic double-double basically every night with Jake Campman. So so who kind of has to, to maybe play a different role and who are you kind of looking at for leaders on this team? Yeah, so Chase Bowen, he's a, he was our you know our third leading scorer last year. So kind of looking for him to step up and, and kind of be our, our guy this year, uh, as, long, uh, as well as Skyler Rogers, um, those two. Um, were big lift for us last year when they they got playing well. So, uh, and then you know uh, our point guard. Uh, obviously, we lost Wyatt Peter now last year, a uh, big contributor. So uh, Ethan Perkins filling in that spot this year, and hopefully he can do some big things for us. And then just developing those role players to to step in. So. What do you see when you see two A boys basketball right now around the state here at the beginning of the season? Well, I, I mean, if you look at the end of last season, it was kind of like the east side ran ran the state, and I think that's probably going to be the case again this year. Um, 
you know, Pine Bluffs is always tough. Right, um, you know, they're, they're, they're gonna be challenging this year. Um, as far as on, on our side of the state, you know, it's kind of up, up in the air, you know. Um, Gray Bull is gonna be pretty tough. I think they've, they've got a bunch coming back. Uh, Wyoming Indian, they're always tough. You, you never know what you're gonna get from them, but they're, they're gonna be tough. Big Piney in our, our quadrant here, they're gonna be, gonna be tough. They didn't lose a whole lot off their team last year, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to, to see how it all plays out. Gotcha. Um, how would you describe this group that you have? Uh, they're pretty. They're a pretty tight knit group. Uh, not just our seniors, but they've got good relationships with the kids all the way through. Um, you know, we have uh, Chase's younger brother's a freshman this year, so that's going to be interesting. And uh, you know, they're, they are. They're just a, a tight knit, <clears throat> fun loving group. You know, they they like to have fun, but they know when it's time to get down to business that. You know, time to strap it on and go. So. <laughs> uh, for you, uh, a, a couple things you still need to get done before you play your first games next week. Yeah, uh, keep working on the defensive end, uh, shoring that up a little bit. Um, we started to throw in some of our offense and and that, and you know, just kind of fine tuning our game plan for these first couple weeks. Uh, we've got a few challenging games right off the bat, and <laughs> so trying to make sure we're on point with everything. All, all facets of the game. And kind of a follow-up to that then would be that I like to ask coaches is obviously there's maybe some long-term goals throughout the year that you want to accomplish, you know, get back to state, things like that. But what are some short-term goals just to get you going in the right direction early on, Matt? Yeah, I think I think one of the big thing that helped us out last year, we got a really good start to the season. And I, I'm hoping to, hoping to get another good start to this season, get us some, some momentum going into Christmas break. And, uh, you know, we have one tournament after Christmas break here at home and then uh, into conference play. So really using these first couple weeks to fine tune stuff before we get into that conference play. Um, those conference games are huge, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, talk to the boys. Last year we didn't do very well in our quadrant. We were two and four in our quadrant. Went in as the fourth seed into regionals and, and ended up coming out as the third seed going into state. So. It, it can happen, you know, you just got to be fine-tuning everything throughout the season and, and get those guys going. Matt, thanks so much for the time. Wish you best yeah. luck this season. And thank you, David.